Bosses, what is the stupidest thing that you have had to fire someone for? Part 2. Story 10. I had a manager steal a bag that a customer had left on the counter. He completely denied it too, and I believed him, but the customer was sure he left it there and asked to see the video. I hadn't seen anything odd, so I showed it to him. He pointed out the bag, which we watched until the manager of 10 plus years took the bag and left. Story 11. I used to manage a hotel. You would not believe the amount of female employees I had to consistently remind it was against our company policy to have intercourse with the guests. One woman, she was about 20 years old, who I had to remind this of several times, was caught mid-act having intercourse with a guy that was about 65 and looked like Santa Claus. After she was fired, one of her co-workers told me that this woman had a Santa Claus fetish and thought she'd never get the opportunity to act on it, so it was worth possibly getting caught and fired. Girl was pretty decent looking, too. Story 12. Worked at KFC. Guy got fired for doing toot at work. In the office, where there are cameras. In hindsight, I probably should have seen it coming. He showed up to the interview wearing a shirt with the Wheel of Fortune board on it, saying, G F yourself. And underneath that, would you like to buy a vowel? Guess that was his nicest shirt? Also, I once saw him eat ice out of a bucket that had raw standing chicken water. Kinda speaks volumes of KFC that he even got hired. Honestly, given the state of most KFCs that I've ever been in, it kinda surprises me that he was fired. <laughs> then again, I've only ever really been inside one or two KFCs and they, uh, they weren't great. Story 13. Putting a customer's info in the system as first name, don't care, last name, smells like crap. Story 14. Forgot cheese on cheese pizza. Twice. Story 15. One of the lifeguards was really hungover, so he took a crap in the pool so we didn't have to open up for the day. Story 16. In my imagination, I combine all of these stories to be about the same guy and all his misadventures at different businesses. Story 17. In high school, a guy I knew stole a giant Ronald McDonald made of Legos from the McDonald's he worked at. It was one of those guesses about the number of pieces contests. He got away with it, but later on he was busted for stealing boxes of hash brown wrappers with Monopoly game pieces on them. Cops showed up at his place to arrest him over the hash browns. Lo and behold, there sits Ronald in the middle of his room. It's just like how they caught Al Capone! I mean, if Al Capone was way less of an icon of crime in America and was more of a loser. Also, why keep the Ronald? Couldn't you, like, break him down and sell him for parts at least? Story 18. I once worked in a retail store where we all had our own access codes that allowed us to do stuff, and if our code didn't allow us to do it, we weren't supposed to be doing it. On his first day during training, he managed to catch the general manager's code as he was typing it in and used it for about a week. Pretty much gave away thousands of dollars of equipment in the manager's name. It was particularly stupid because he did it because he still had his trainee position, which required somebody to look over most of what he did if he wanted to give discounts, etc. If he had waited another couple of days, he would have been moved up to full staff member and could have given out most of those discounts anyway without anybody noticing or caring. Just couldn't wait to give his friends all the free swag. Story 19. One of my technicians used our remote software to start typing to a girl whose machine he took control of. He opened Notepad, wrote, What's up, S? and then went to Adult Hub. Supervisor gets an email about S harassment the same day, and he's gone the next morning. Story 20. Employee rolled a hole on the bottom of a customer's oil filter. Customer decided to change his oil one day. Something, something, something. Fired. Edit. At the time, employees were required to sign their initials for Upper Bay and Lower Bay with the date. The Upper Bay tech signed JJ and the Lower Bay tech was AS. JJ was peed at AS that day and finished the Lower Bay initials with Shoal beside it and handed it to him to install. Customer found it a month later doing his own oil change and brought the filter. Employee admitted it and was terminated from above. Still friends to this day and he is now a teacher. Hey, good on him becoming a teacher. That's a damned noble profession. And hey, sounds like he learned an important lesson that he can pass on to his students. That lesson is, cover your tracks a little better. Story 21. We worked at a place that bought used cell phones. She bought a cell phone from a guy and his Facebook was still open. She posted as the guy on his Facebook something like, 
I'm a big effing idiot. Guy came back to complain. She was fired. Story 22. I was the manager of a Papa John's and a lady called and complained about a driver going too fast near her kids. Driver comes back and I say, Pat, a lady called. Try and slow it down a bit. He goes postal in front of a packed audience of pickup customers. F you, man. Whose side are you on? Not mad, Pat. Just be careful. Nah, F you. She's lying. Pat, dude, not mad. Just be careful. Ah, no. F that. You and I need to go outside. Calm down, dude. Not mad at you. Don't worry. F you. You're done, man. Go home. Most awkward pizza firing aside from when this dude tried to kill me when I worked on the coast. Pat's a nurse now. Story 23. I had to fire this kid from a gas station I worked at after he asked me if I ever poked holes in the condoms with a pushpin as he proceeded to punch holes in condoms. I have no idea how long he was doing it because he worked there for over a year. Story 24. Manager at a delivery joint here, we had to let someone go because they decided to deliver pizzas in a stolen car. Story 25. I worked with a guy who was fired for regularly watching adult entertainment at his desk. They talked to him several times and he just never stopped. Story 26. This a-hole would spend all day on this website talking to random people and embellishing his life. He would talk about these weird jokes that no one in the office got and spend a massive amount of time looking at pictures with text on it. The pictures weren't even different. It was all to collect these fake internet points. No idea why it was so appealing. Ugh, can you imagine someone doing something like that? What a loser. That is so pathetic. The only thing that would be more pathetic is a guy reading those things out loud on videos to, um... You know, I think we're being too harsh on this guy. Honestly, seems pretty great to me. Story 27. I was managing a restaurant and did morning cash out. I check all the slips against the information in the computer. I noticed a new hire had really good tip averages the day before when I had been paying her out. The next day I was going through her slips and noticed a discrepancy. Mainly that she had added a one in front of each tip and changed the total. How could I tell, you ask? She used different color ink. She was fired and we refunded the money. Seriously, at least use the same color ink. Story 28. Receptionist who forgot to wear pants. I was at a satellite office and had four employees call me separately to let me know. There were some previous issues, plus they were pretty sure she was on something. Story 29. I got a great one. My friend and I were both district managers for a vendor company that worked in home depots, building displays, and merchandising. One day, one of the workers was on the store phone talking with one of the owners of the company. Owner hears in the background an in-store page for a manager he knows had been fired a month ago. Turns out this guy had made an hour-long recording of the inside sounds of a Home Depot and would play it on his stereo anytime someone would call him. Fooled everyone for months. My buddy and I drove to his house and parked outside and called him. My friend asked him where he was and he said, I'm at the store. We tell him, you might want to look out your window. We see his curtain part a little bit and close fast. We told him, don't bother coming out, you're fired. Got to give him credit for the balls and ingenuity, though. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video and have a wonderful day. Story 30. This actually just happened. Our supplier came out onto my construction site and cooked everyone a free Barbie. This one bloke had a meltdown and almost had a fight with the chef. Their conversation started off like this. Guy, where's the butter? Chef, ain't got no butter, mate. Guy, what kind of Barbie is this without any butter? Chef, a free one. If you don't like it, don't have it. Then the guy blew up yelling at the chef for making smart butt comments and swearing his head off while the chef thought nothing of it and remained really calm and telling the guy to take it easy. Our site does not tolerate this kind of behavior. Needless to say, we kicked the guy off site ASAP. Lost a job over a free Barbie and butter lot. Edit. Turns out there was butter in the fridge. I was really, really hoping the story was going to end. Needless to say, we kicked the guy off site. Can you imagine being hired to cook for a Barbie and not bringing any butter? The guy had to be fired. Disgraceful. Story 31. Worked at a nightclub. One of the workers called in sick, but he was actually going to some party instead. Could you guess where they went after the party? Yes, to our nightclub. 
Story 32. There was one time I had to fire someone because I sent him out on a job that would only take two to three hours to complete. Before he left, he mentioned to the receptionist that he was going to make it last all day. She mentioned it to me, and sure enough, he returned over eight hours later. Being dishonest with a client's money is not something I was going to tolerate. Story 33. One of the security guys at my company was caught masturbating to adult entertainment during the day at the main reception desk by a female PA. When we had his exit interview, we asked him why he did it, and he just said he felt really comfortable at work and got carried away while browsing. He'd been with the company for years. The best part was a colleague of mine who came back from vacation a week later and asked what happened to Ron. Somebody said he was fired, and immediately the guy said, oh, what, did he get caught jerking off? But he didn't even know. He just got the vibe that Ron would be the type to jerk it at work. Good lord, Ron, you couldn't have at least snuck over to the bathroom if you were that desperate for a tuggy? I don't care how comfortable you are. I'm comfortable at my friend's place, but I'm still not going to whip it out there. At least not without permission. Story 34. Not showing up and not calling in. Everyone has a phone and can make up a crappy excuse. Call and let me know you're not going to show up so I can get someone else. F. Story 35. I worked with a guy who got fired for buying adult entertainment on eBay all day at work. I thought this was pretty out there until I saw the other adult entertainment at work stories here. But still, I think this takes the cake because he was internet savvy and still paying for secondhand adult entertainment DVDs. That's varsity level work adult entertainment stupid. You don't get it. This guy, he was a collector. He didn't want some amateur level bad lighting garbage you can stream on the internet. He wanted that high quality studio made stuff. He wanted plot and acting and tasteful crossfade cuts from nut shot to butt shot. This man is not stupid. He is an artist. Story 36. Personal hygiene. You think people would have the common courtesy to shower before working with others. That person smelled like pure B.O. with crap sprinkled on top. Story 37. One of my maintenance guys tried to stab a guy over a bag of dirt. Company dirt. Dirt. Story 38. I told him to stop getting high before work. I even told him he was a good worker when not high and that I didn't care what he did off the clock. I literally told him that people could smell weed on him and that he acted like an idiot while high. He apologized, agreed with me, even offered up the fact that it was in fact affecting his work. Next day, shows up stone to the bone. Sorry guy, you're fired. Story 39. In the interview, he was told he would have to take a drug test if he was hired. He was hired. He failed the drug test. When I brought him in and told him that he failed, he said, yeah, I knew I would. Then why? I'm sure it's not unusual, but still, why bother? He quit another job to take one that he knew he would lose immediately. Why? The other job, by the way, was janitor in a high school, which I assume he went back to. Story 40. One of my salesmen had a customer stop during a test drive so he could buy some candy. On the upside, he did offer to share it with them. Story 41. A PC technician was being pestered with questions from a customer about sales stuff. He lost it, and while looking the customer square in the face, the employee had his eyes closed, however, said, Get away from me or I'll eat your face. It took half the day to get over the laughter and what the F of the situation before we could even begin on paperwork. Nope, I'm sorry, but every person who does any kind of work on computers and has to deal with the customers of said computers should get one free, normally unacceptable outburst per week. I sold computers to people for a while, and the questions I got were enough to make me want to scream every damned day. Story 42. Not a boss, but HR. Had a guy on a temporary work comp transitional assignment at a retail store. His regular job had very good pay, a lot of benefits, etc. The moron stole a used scuba suit from his temporary job site on camera. Bonus. We're well over 1,000 miles from any ocean. Story 43. I'm not a boss, but a guy at a former job got fired because he broke a light fixture when he was effing around with a mop. The manager on duty, who admittedly was a little insane, whipped his head around and in the most terrifying voice said, Sweep that up, then get the F out! Was that terrifying enough? Did, did I do it?
Story 44. Had an employee call in sick a few busy retail Saturdays in a row. The pattern got me a bit suspicious, but I had no proof until a co-worker, who wasn't all too happy working up front shorthanded again, came into my office, cell phone in hand, to show me selfie photos that the sick employee had just posted to Facebook of her sunbathing. Story 45. This guy always tried to hide at work to avoid working. One day I was looking for him and I stepped into the bathroom. I noticed a shoe print on the back of the toilet, and I looked up and one of the ceiling tiles is pushed a little to the side. I climb up there, and this mother effer is hiding in the ceiling. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.